person. Um, so all children under 12 uh, should ride in the back seat, and it has nothing to do with anything other than your size, okay, and like the size of the child. If they're under 12 years old, they should be riding in the back seat. Um, because of the airbag, I mean. Okay, so uh, let's see, I should not wear a seatbelt because I don't want to be trapped in a fire or underwater. Maybe, maybe it scares some people, like what do you guys think of that? Yeah. You think, what, well, maybe, maybe you're going to crash, right, and the car catches on fire, I mean, you might not be able to get out with a seatbelt, or, or you're underwater, does anybody ever worry about that, maybe, or think about that? Maybe a few people. Well, it's actually false, okay, because crashes involving fire or water only happen in one half of one percent of all crashes. So first off, the chances of that even happening to you are extremely low. Especially since we're in the middle of the desert, you pretty much eliminate the water one. Uh, however, when they do occur, the trick to getting out of them is remaining conscious and uninjured, okay? So if you don't have your seatbelt on, and you crash into something and catch on fire, or find yourself submerged underwater, the chances of you being unconscious or severely injured to where you can't unbuckle your seatbelt are a lot higher, okay? So then you're not going to be able to get out of the situation at all. So by buckling your seatbelt, you're actually helping yourself in both of these situations. It's very easy to unbuckle in, in either of those circumstances. Okay, what do you think? Seatbelts can hurt you in a crash. Hang on. Sorry, what? Is guy in the TV. Not in TV, but like he was this TV show, and then the guy was in the car, and then he had a crash, and then when the seatbelt went inside his truck. Okay, sometimes seatbelts definitely don't make you invincible. I'm not here to lie and make you think that if you wear your seatbelt, you're 100% invincible and you can drive like 100 miles an hour down the road, crash into anything, and walk away okay, all right? Like we talked about earlier, okay, I mean, you guys are pretty smart. You know about inertia, okay, Newton's first law. Your body is still traveling as fast as the car is going. The seatbelt's going to do as much as it can to help you, but sometimes you can get in a car accident that's so bad, it's just not going to matter, right? So that's the other part of road safety is make sure that you're not speeding, okay? Who's ever driving isn't going so fast. And, and other things to even prevent to getting in an accident in the first place. Um, but let's touch a little bit on this uh, just to eliminate any rumors or anything. So properly worn safety belts seldom cause injuries, okay? In very rare circumstances they can. But usually, if they do, the injuries are only surface bruises. And uh, without the seatbelt, you probably would have been injured a lot worse, okay? And it's also important to wear the seatbelt properly, like we discussed earlier, because if you're, if you're wearing it improperly, that does increase the chances of the seatbelt injuring you. But if you wear it properly, you're going to be in pretty good shape after an accident, a lot better than you would be without the seatbelt. Okay. Um, your driver, okay? I guess uh, we're just going to touch on that. Not distracting the driver while on the road. I think we talked about that with the cell phone, okay? But there's other ways too, like loud music. Maybe you're, you know, jamming out, playing some loud music. Like you want to keep that down so the driver can hear people like me coming up behind him with lights and sirens, trying to pass, you know, but he can't hear. So that's a road safety hazard. Um, this includes excessive driving. Maybe you're waiting for the driver to come and pick you up, and you don't know where he is. You know, he's stuck in traffic, so you're calling him every five minutes, but he keeps having to answer the phone. He's not being able to pay attention to the road and safety hazards. Okay, so I just want to play this last video here, and then I'll share, um, seems like there was a couple other slides, just a second. It's one with a couple pictures I just wanted to show you guys. Um, forgive me, they're, they're for, the, uh, <laughs> for the elementary class I just had, but they do demonstrate uh, quite well how to wear the seatbelt properly. I think we talked about this. You saw the uh, how to wear the shoulder belt or the uh, the shoulder portion of it. Okay, don't share them. Obviously, <laughs> they're for for one person. Okay, uh, kids four to eight. If there is any children four to eight, you'll want to place them in booster seats uh, to make sure that the seatbelt fits comfortably. Okay, and that it works like it's supposed to. 
We just talked about kids under 12, need to ride in the back seat. And uh, make sure you wear it correctly. We talked about this. Make sure it's around your waist and also around your chest. It's snug. It's not over your stomach or behind your neck or anything like that. And it's not just you guys. Everybody should buckle up. And it's your job, too, to remind everybody else in the vehicle to wear their seatbelt. Okay. So we'll watch this, this last video here. And uh, let me go to this. And then I'll tell you guys a couple stories. share a couple quick stories with you guys and then we'll take I think maybe three questions. Uh, yeah, when I first came here, like I said, it was frustrating seeing all these car accidents and I didn't get paid to come here today to talk to you guys or anything like that. I, I came here on my own free will because I was motivated by a lot of things, but there was one particular car accident I remember that touched me quite a bit and it was a few months ago when I first got here. I won't go into graphic detail or anything like that, but it was a rollover. Uh, quite a way, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Mom Highway, but people can go pretty fast out there. This guy had a rollover accident, and uh, when I got there, I was the first unit on the scene, it was nighttime, and uh, the police, uh, police were right behind us, and I got there, and the first guy I found it, had passed away, he was already dead. And I got to two other people, and they were dead as well. And then I found one other guy who managed to crawl out of the vehicle, who was still alive, but he wasn't... He wasn't doing so hot, but he could talk to me. And uh, I started doing an assessment on him. We started some IVs and things like that. And then on the way to the hospital, I noticed he had a bruise right over his chest. It started from his shoulder. And I said, hey, were you wearing your safety belt? He said, I was the only guy in the car that had on a safety belt. And that guy was the only survivor of that accident. So it kind of just made me think, like, wow, you know, like, that's powerful. That, that was the only guy that survived because he had his seat belt on. So uh, after that, I decided, you know, people need, to, people need to realize, you know, it is an important thing. And I might not be the best public speaker, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys letting me come here and, and share this knowledge with you and uh, just, you know, reemphasize the fact to wear your safety belt, okay? I'll go ahead and take three questions, um, if anybody has any. Sure. Yeah, sure. So the question was, if there's someone in the back seat who's like, eh, I don't want to wear my seatbelt, whatever. If you guys want to wear yours, that's fine. You know, it doesn't affect you. Um, listen, like we talked about, Newton's first law, right? Inertia. That vehicle's still traveling at 60 miles per hour. However fast you're going, it's, it's fast, right? In a vehicle, way faster than you can walk. If you have your seatbelt on in the front seat, if you're, well, you should only be in the front seat if you're over 12, right? But let's just say you're in the front seat, you're over 12, and uh, somebody in the back seat doesn't have their seatbelt on, when they get into an accident, that person's going to come straight into the front of the vehicle and could potentially kill you or injure you severely as an object that's still moving 60 miles per hour, or however many miles per hour you're going. It's going to affect you as well. So even if they're in the back seat, that's affecting your safety as well. They should buckle up also. Okay, uh, any other questions? Okay, uh... I think I saw it, sorry, sorry. Is there a 
Is it possible for a seatbelt to like break ribs? Yeah, anything is possible for sure, and a seatbelt could potentially break your ribs, yes, but if the seatbelt is going to do that, I can probably tell you with certainty that the injuries you would have sustained without the seatbelt would have killed you or injured you much worse than just breaking your ribs. Um, there's another good video I, I couldn't show, unfortunately, it was a little too graphic, but it was a YouTube video of a guy who didn't have a seatbelt on, but he had an airbag. The airbag went off, and then the video kind of zoomed in and did some technology things, you know, like you could see inside his body. I mean, it was just to help show you what was going on. But his ribs did, they broke, but he continued traveling, and even when he hit the airbag, they went into his internal organs and actually ended up injuring him quite severely. But with a seatbelt, his body wouldn't have moved forward as much. Maybe his ribs would have been injured a little bit, but, but nothing like that, okay? So like I said, you're not invincible. The seatbelt doesn't make you Superman by any means. But it does statistically increase your chances of survival dramatically. And if you do get injured with the seatbelt on, you are going to be hurt way more without the seatbelt. Okay, last question. You know, I've never seen one rip. Um, it would take a lot of force, I think, for one to rip. We have special, like, uh, blades that we use to cut the seatbelt away when we come to get somebody if they're entrapped inside a vehicle. But they're made out of a sturdy nylon material that's sewn together very closely. And uh, I've, never, I've never seen one personally rip in a car accident. Usually we, we always have to cut them away, no matter how bad the accident is. All right? Okay, thank you guys. inspirational talk. Guys, I know it is not cool to wear a seatbelt, but it is also not cool to be admitted to the hospital. Wear your seatbelt in the front and in the back. Okay? Uh, Mr. Leonas is here. Okay, what we do with the lunch break? 12 o'clock. Okay, lunch break. I'll go past the office and see because I think